Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Quarter. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. Movies and television have thrust comic books and their characters onto the main stage in entertainment and pop culture worldwide. As we all know, comic books have been seen selling for astronomical prices these days. In this video, I want to highlight and talk about some of the highest recorded sales for the holiest of holy grails in our hobby. I'll also be touching on an upcoming auction that I hope shakes things up a bit. So hopefully you guys are excited. Here we go. I want to thank the sponsor of this channel, it's Shortboxed App. It's the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. There's a link in the description below for Apple and Android users. As you can see here, they have enormous, insane, crazy books on their app right now. It's like a museum, browsing through the app is a ton of fun. They, they not only have these humongous books, up to a half a million dollar in value, but they've got also affordable books, books in the hundreds of dollars or less. There's a link in the description below. Go there right now, click that link, and start shopping today. Number eight on the list of the Million Dollar Club is Detective Comics number 27. On November 22nd of 2022, Heritage Auction sold this 7.0 for $1.5 million. And the amount of times that a Detective Comics 27 has been sold for over a million dollars has been four times, most recently a 4.5 in January of 2022, sold for $1.14 million. On the census, there are 74 total graded copies 36 of those are universal, and the highest graded copy on the census is a 9.2. If that 7.0 came on the market today, I would fully anticipate it being over $3 million. And if that 9.2 came on the market today, boy, it may be over $5 million. Number seven on the list is Batman number one. On January 17th, 2021, Heritage Auction sold this 9.4 for $2.2 million. Number of copies of Batman number one that have sold over a million dollars have been two different copies. And an 8.0 just recently sold in 2021 for $1,050,000. There are 282 total copies on the census. 131 of those are universal and the highest graded is that 9.4. Number six on the list is Fantastic Four, number one from 1961. On April 11th of 2022, Heritage Auctions sold this 9.4 for $1.5 million. And this is the only time that Fantastic Four number one has ever reached the million dollar mark. On the census, there are 2,681 total graded copies. There are 1,814 universal copies and the highest graded copy of Fantastic Four number one is a 9.6 and there are two of them. Number five on the list is Marvel Comics number one. On March 17th, 2022, Comic Connect sold this 9.2 for $2.4 million. And this is the second time that Marvel Comics number one has reached over a million dollars. The first time was in 2019 when the Windy City copy, a 9.4, sold for $1.26 million. There are 64 total graded copies on the census. 32 of those are universal and the highest grade is that 9.4. The really interesting thing about this Marvel Comics number one from 1939 is it was used by the publisher to record the payments of artists and it's noted in pencil on seven different pages and the cover. That makes this a really special historic copy. We've reached the halfway point so I want to invite you guys if you're not already subscribed to the channel hit that subscription button and hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. Also hit that thumbs up and comment down below what you think of the list so far. Number four on the list is Superman number one. On December 17th, 2021, Comic Connect sold this 7.0 for $2.6 million, and this was the first and only time that Superman number one has ever sold for over a million dollars. There's an asterisk by that because CGC itself reports on April 13th, 2022, that the Mile High copy was sold privately for $5.3 million. There are 167 copies on the CGC census. 71 of those are universally graded copies and the highest grade of a Superman number one is an 8.5. Number three on the list and a newcomer to the Million Dollar Club is Captain America number one. On April 11th, 2022, Heritage Auction sold a 9.4 of Captain America number one for $3.12 million. And this was once again the first time that Captain America Comics number one has ever sold for over a million dollars. There are 181 total copies graded on the census. 88 of those are universal and the highest graded copy of a Captain America Comics number one is a 9.8 copy. 
number two on the list. You would expect it to be something else, but it's actually Action Comics number one on August 25th, 2014. eBay had a sale of a 9.0 for $3.2 million. And just recently this year, on January 17th, 2022, Heritage Auction had a sale of a 6.0 for $3.1 million. Knowing that information right now, if that 9.0 came to market again, it would certainly be the top selling comic book of all time. Action Comics number one has sold over a million dollars five times. And the lowest grade to ever sell over a million dollars was a 3.0 in December of 2021. Showing collectors all around that even in low grade Action Comics number one is still worth over a million dollars. Action Comics number one is a very rare book. There's only 75 total graded on the CGC census. 43 of those are universally graded and the highest grade on the CGC census is a 9. 9.0. And number one on the list of highest comic book sales ever recorded for a single comic book is Amazing Fantasy number 15, the first appearance of Spider-Man. On September 12th of 2021, Heritage Auctions sold a 9.6 copy for 3.6 million dollars. This is the first and only time that an Amazing Fantasy 15 has ever sold for over a million dollars. There are plenty of Amazing Fantasy 15s, not necessarily in that high of a grade, but there are 3,584 copies on the census, 2,310 of those are universally graded, and the highest grade of an Amazing Fantasy 15 is a 9.6 and there's actually four copies in that grade. And now that we've got our list complete, we need to talk about one more urgent issue. On May 27th of 2022, Heritage Auctions has two copies of All-Star Comics number eight, one of which is the highest graded copy of All-Star Comics number eight. It's a 9.4 copy, which previously sold on August 27th, 2017, for $936,000. I fully anticipate this copy reaching over the multi-million dollar level, hopefully reaching over the $3 million level. In the same very auction, there's a CGC graded 4.0 copy of All-Star Comics number eight, the first appearance of Wonder Woman. Back in 2017, when the 9.4 sold for almost a million dollars, a 4.0 sold for $73,000. I really do anticipate that the momentum in comics right now is going towards these bigger blue chip keys. And I'm really hoping that a strong 9.4 sale will raise this 4.0 back up to the 60 to $75,000 range. It wouldn't be a true Alex the Comic Quarter video unless I showed a book of my own in my own collection. And this is All-Star Comics number eight, the first appearance of Wonder Woman. It's a 4.0, it's off white pages. This book is from December of 1941 and also January of 1942. It kind of splits the years 41 and 42. Just an amazing All-Star Comics cover with the Justice Society of America really really amazing book the first appearance of wonder woman starman and dr midnight join the justice society of america and green lantern becomes an honorary member this is a fantastic book and i'm really looking forward to the heritage auction sale on may 27th of 2022 to see if this book will once again reclaim its glory in the seventy thousand dollar range thank you guys so much for watching i really do hope you enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for future videos i'll talk to you all on the next one see you bye